Welcome to another Azure Guy video, where hands-on learning is priority one. I'm an Azure administrator, an Azure security engineer, an Azure solutions architect, as well as a Kubernetes application developer. Welcome to my CK series of challenge questions. I'm not taking our past the CK exam at this time at the time of the recording, but I'm preparing for it. Hopefully, we'll learn the topics together and successfully pass the CK exam. This series will focus on managing cluster nodes. The challenges are mark a node such that any new pods will not be created on it. Test this by creating some new pods. Add an additional node to the cluster. Make, up, make a backup of the ETC database and configure the new node created earlier to start a static pod that runs on that runs in an Nginx web server. Okay. Uh, let's see what kind of setup I have. Uh, I'm going to do a cube. Also, I put my mouse over there. Kubectl get nodes. You're going to see I have three nodes one called master, two, and one called working one and working two. At the time of this video recording, I do not I have not created a video on how to create this setup, but that is in my plans of doing and hopefully doing that quite soon or then later but anyway uh let's also do a kubectl get pods and let's see what's running on there and what so i got looks like i got one pod running on worker two so since the goal of this challenge one of the goals of the challenge is to uh, prevent new nodes from occurring on a node new pods on a node so I'm going to do that on worker 2 and then create a new pod and it should only go to worker 1 so kubectl cor and let's just do a little help on this command and um, it makes a marks a node as unschedulable. That's exactly what we want. So we'll say kubectl cord tab and worker two. And it comes back saying it was successful. There's no errors. So just to make sure. We'll do a get pods again, and it's running. We didn't expect it not to be running because we only told it, we only told it not to put new pods in worker two. Let's just do a get nodes, and you can see worker two reads scheduling disabled, and before we did the command, it read ready. So we're looking pretty pretty good. Let's test. We'll create a new pod. Kubectl run. Uh, we'll call it test pod. Image equals nginx. I'm in the default namespace. Uh, Spins. Uh, do I have to do anything else? It's such a such an easy uh, image. I don't think I need anything else. I never made such a simple pod in a long time. All right, get pods dash o y. I guess I could have used up arrow and test pod went to worker one, which is what we'd expected, right? But let's just uh, create a test pod two, a test pod. three and a test pod four and we would expect them to be running where well I expect uh, all test pods to be running on worker one and that's exactly true so uh, excellent 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 and that completes this task Let's move on to the next task. I changed my mind before we call this task 
complete, I'd like to show you how to make Worker 2 uh, be able to accept uh, schedules again, or accept pods. So, cube, whoops, hands the wrong spots. Cube's TL uncored in, and then the node name. So, if I do a get nodes again, you can see it's now ready to accept uh, pods, etc. again. All right, now this challenge task is now marked 